So today I'm replacing the gimbal on my DJI Mavic Pro. I had a light crash and afterwards on the DJI app it would read motor overload code. So I replaced the gimbal um, wiring along with the vibration board already and that did not seem to fix the problem. So today I'm going to replace the gimbal slash camera on the DJI Mavic Pro. To get started here, a few things that we can do is take the battery off for starters. And then you have a few screws here. That would be one, two, three, four, five, six, which is one on the other side. And then if you flip it over on its front, you would have a little cover that goes over this on both sides. You would take a screw out that goes here and then two screws that go one here and one there and then you also have one screw here one screw there and you would take a little small pry tool and you should be able to pry the cover right off of the machine which should come up like this and then you would see this white cord here that would be plugged into this little plug right here you would want to unplug that gently and just set this aside I always recommend taking my screws and placing them in different orders as to where everything went. After that, you're going to have two screws, one here and one there that you're going to remove as well, which will be Phillips screws. So basically, we're going to remove this little Phillips screw right here. That's going to allow this cable right here to move and get out of the way. We're also going to take this screw and this screw over here out, which are two Phillips. We're gonna remove this black and white cable along with these two ribbon cables, and these two ribbon cables in the front. And as you're removing these cables, just be careful because there could be a little bit of glue on them. If so, then you would want to pry back the glue a little bit and the cable should come right out. As far as these two screws right here, after you take them out, your camera should come out of your unit, and then you would be ready to install your new one. So now that I have the new camera bolted in, which is two screws right here, Phillips, we're now going to relay this wire onto its home where it belongs, which is up here. If I can get this out, I didn't intentionally mean to put that in there. But underneath this screw, we're going to put one ribbon cable down, two ribbon cable down, three ribbon cables down, four ribbon cable. Then we're going to plug this white and black plug right back into its housing right here. Then we're going to continue with putting the top cover on as well as plugging in the plug here into its home, which is right here. And then we're going to put all our exterior screws in. We're going to start the DJI Maverick up and see if the overload code is gone. So that's all snapped in. And basically we're going to set our cover down on. And we're just going to snap it back together. So now we are going to put all of our screws in. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six two right on the bottom here one two one two and then we're going to take these little caps right here and they're going to go right in place so that's how that's going to work so now that i have it all put back together i have all my screws in and uh, there's one over there there's a few down here the camera Everything's put back together. I'm going to do two things. One, put the battery pack back in. Make sure it clips. Two, there's a little guard here on the gimbal. This little thing right here. You want to make sure that's off before you try and start it up. Or else you may have some problems. Because it won't allow it to move like it's supposed to. So now what I am going to do is start up my DJI app and I will get back and let you guys know how that works with the gimbal overload or motor overload code that you would see 
So here I go, I'm gonna start the machine. My controller is already on. The drone should be starting. And the camera is working. That is a good thing. Okay, so the DJI Maverick is back together and fully workable function and the gimbal slash camera was the problem um, and now I do not have a motor overload code and I want to thank DJI Maverick for getting me the camera in a quick fashionable way and I also want to say that I got this toolkit on Amazon that was about 12 bucks I believe great kit it was perfect it did everything I needed it to do and it actually has a little pouch a nice little pouch that it folds up and that's pretty cool and the buttons on the front and it works perfect I, I can't really complain to be honest with you so I will post a link below for the toolkit if need be if you guys are interested um, I don't really do a lot of videos, sorry if my video sucks, but if it helps you out in any way, hit the like button. This is for the DJI Maverick Pro camera gimbal installation. Have a good one guys.